Maya, enjoy the blog slash few months, few days in my life. Love you all. Say hi guys! Hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! channel. <laughs> YouTube channel! YouTube channel! And tell their friends and tell and their friends and their friends and tell and their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends and tell their friends and and tell their friends 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 and tell Wait, oh. Station for the year. How are you guys feeling? Nervous. <laughs> so so nervous. Yo, my brows are not browsing back. It is what it is. Hi guys, this is the second of May today. Um, I don't really have anything to say, but I am gonna start the vlog today just for vibes, you know, to show you guys what I've been up to and all that and all that. I haven't been posting on socials, also, I haven't been on Instagram because I deactivated my account because I just don't want to be there no more like that. Now I'm joking, um, I did it because I just felt like Instagram is not giving what it's what it used to give, you know. And yeah, I'm not sure that it's but mm -hmm. so it's been how many days now? It's going for two weeks now, ever since I um, deleted IG or in, uninstalled it or whatever. So yeah, which is a great thing because I am I am happy that I actually did that. But yeah, you all yell um there's so much that it that happened. Like I came from campus now and I just got into my pajamas. But life has been lifing. Life has been a journey on its own. These few months of my life has been nothing but a lesson nothing but personal and self-discovery and like actually starting to love myself more mean you understand and for me to be able to be loved better whatever love needs to i need to love myself enough to know that it's okay not to be around people for or people's approval to make you feel loved or whatever i know you guys don't understand what i mean but i yeah but to succeed you know, it's been a journey it's been a hectic few months like i wish i was prepared for what happened and what came with this year okay the year is not done yet or whatever but this is like just a little bit of um, what's been happening for the few months of this month, this year. I plan my year out so nicely. I plan my year out like this is what I want to achieve. This and this and this. Obviously, I got I graduated. You know, got my first belt and everything. Grateful for God for that because I mean, there's so many young people that want that and sometimes can't afford it or sometimes just like circumstances don't allow them to get there whatever 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 but one thing that i've noticed throughout these years is that what you put your mind to and stuff you will eventually get there and however 
However, you say means no matter how long it takes, yeah, like don't give up because if I myself gave up on myself, I wasn't gonna be the person that I am today because there were so many times in my life where I just felt like, yo, like everything is a lot and whatever, whatever. But to be honest with you guys, I kept on going and knowing very well that it's because of God that I'm here today and I'm grateful for that and my family support and stuff. And if you watch my previous video of graduation, you would see that I was very grateful for what happened, even though like not everyone was there that's like in my support system, but I know that their prayers and stuff like that always helped me and whatever. But a little story, you know, about what has been happening in my life. Like, I'm not going to say everything because I just feel like certain things are like a little bit personal and stuff. But all I want to say is that, yes, school, I've learned a big lesson. I've also learned that certain things are just not worth um, explaining or whatever, whatever. But also I remember and I know for a fact that doing the right thing is the best thing because it will set you free from whatever is bothering you. And knowing myself, I am one of those people that can't deal with guilt or whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just, do you understand what I mean? So I prefer someone telling me the truth. So that's why I feel like I should also tell the person the truth no matter how much it hurts me or whatever or whatever happens after the truth is out the truth i don't know how to say it yeah is out but yeah so the men say like everyone learns I mean everyone goes to these lessons and become a better person and i feel like i'm in this space now in my life where i honestly feel like i am I am just at peace, man. Like I'm, I'm happy. Yes, day come, days and nights come where I'm like I feel down. Where I feel like yo, like why am I then going through this and this? But I'm always like telling myself, you know what? There's a reason for everything. Cause I've went through so many things, and look where I'm at today. Cause and I'm dealing with things so so much, like so differently now. Yo guys, the angles all weird, by the way. Um, I'm dealing with things so differently now that I used to deal with men, you know. And I'm happy for that because it just shows that there's this growth, you know. And it can play for die because, you know, some people don't want to grow up. Some people want to be caught up in that space or that mentality of, yeah. But I'm grateful, man. I'm honestly just happy that I am out of that space where I felt like I'm not good enough, where I felt like I am a disappointment and whatever. I know and my close people know why I'm saying what I'm saying. But if you ever, like if that ever crosses your mind, a girl or a guy or whoever listens to my videos, I want you to remember that there's only one person that can judge you and that's or there's only one person that can judge you and that is yourself or let's okay not judge there's only one person that can can determine what and what not to allow in your life so if you're gonna tell negative things on yourself then negatives go attract you you go attract negativity so it's better to speak positivity on your life and stuff like that yeah, it's difficult to be a Christian as well as being a young adult or whatever because there's so many temptations, there's so many things that happen in life and stuff like that and different friends, groups and stuff like that that pushes to you to levels where you just like why did I do what I did? But at the end of the day, it's what you make out of it. Mistakes happen and you learn from it and you just continue and you just move on for the people on ig asking me in my dms what's been happening in my life 
I appreciate you guys like being concerned and stuff. And yeah, I don't post that much anymore. Chala, as better than this da om orta wari as so feel like some men's cry or who feel that the men's cry of just being on social media. Social media is very draining. And so I feel like I said it. So I said it. Like I went through stuff and. I just needed a break from social and I did this I'd never knew about deactivating your account on IG and ever since I've done that I've just been at ease man and at peace because social media gives you this perception of this is how you're supposed to be or you are you see a quote now and then you question yourself stuff like that man which which was something I never used to do you know but something that triggered me in my life and I'm, I already said I'm not going to go into detail. But yeah, I mean, story, long story short, all I want to say is that take your battles, man, and take full responsibility for your actions. And on top of that, apologize to the ones you hurt and fix things with people that you can fix with. And if you feel like you don't, you don't want to continue with anything further, then it's okay. But so long Joe can score us as long as your side is like clean, you don't need to worry about anything else. And as I'm laying here right now, I'm just like, you know, um I'm on my own, but I'm happy, man. I'm in a good space because like even my relationship with God is like where it used to be again, do you understand? I'm not a perfect Christian. I make mistakes and I sin every day or whatever. But one thing that I know for a fact is that I myself know that I can't can't live without him. So yeah, yeah, let's just say it's my net like a little bit of a inside story. I don't know if I repeated myself or what. But you guys the ones that know knows that it's been a tough time for me these past few months. Because you're also going through a breakup and stuff. And it's recently, so yeah, but sex means and it's okay, I guess. And as long as you have a support system and that doesn't judge you and whatever. I need a type tripod or whatever you call that thing to hold my phone like so because what? My yala um so sexy on down it appreciate the people you have in your life and appreciate everything you do man. and be grateful for what you have because my yes man it's a little story time thingy for your love and Hopefully, I will continue the vlog every day. I don't see. Bye. Bye.
guys, we're going to Sibo's nail tag now. My nail tag and Sibo's nail tag. To go do her nails. I've been looking crusty since. So, yeah, but the lash tag that we used, mm. never again. I'm still waiting for my, my set. I don't But it is what it is. I'm moving to my new place. My hair is very dirty. It's not scalp, but it's what do you call it gel. It's not. So I'm moving to my new place and I'm excited to change. We're sitting we are on campus now. I'm sitting with you all. But it's not young. Mm -hmm. Coming to face stuff on my sister. So yeah. I'm very hungry and I think just to say thank you, I will buy McDonald's. So I'm busy making food. I have my squash in there. Um, yeah, listening to music is my new place. I haven't cleaned it properly. So yeah. Mind you, I haven't watched it but either. Hi guys, so I am at back of you. Huh? Back of you. 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 Back of you.
this girl. Scared by right them. <laughs> stuck off the church guys because so she left the these on the what do you call it the lights but oh this is so cute combo like that's why we have so much haters <laughs> and she copied my hair style guys she copied my hair style the no no the curls you didn't have no, because you did not oh, tell him. But I feel like this jacket looks nice on me. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi guys, this is the first shopping for the year with my mom. She looks so sexy. Give that walk, bruh. Imagine Joma can wait. Joma can wait. Joma can wait. Hi guys, um, I know I look, my makeup doesn't look bad. Guys, me and my mom is basically thinking. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah. So then, oh my god. Smile. Oh my god, Mandela. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 Oh, yeah, man. Oh, so, bro. Hey, my fella. Oh, you're my mom. I'm not looking as I drove. Audrey, who I get fear of <laughs> Leicester. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Leicester is <laughs> I get fear as fear canners. Ne? As fear maces. Elken van die kinders, elken van die meisjes, het een broer. Hoeveel is hulle? Ach. Als dat een broer. Als dat een broer. Als dat een broer. Ik heb toch gezegd, ach eerste. Elke keer. Dat is vier. Dat is Dat is die ach. Yes. Oh, I just. You guys, I'm already tired. And we still need to get to the sign, Makhan.
Geht frick. Hey. Hi guys, so as you guys can see my skin is glowing. <laughs> and there's this nigga crusty as fuck. Not crusty as fuck. Just crusty. Um, yeah, we're in the streets of Darkestad. <laughs> we went to go buy food. I don't know if you can see, but I look very crusty. Um, but that is because also I stole this bag. I don't know whose bag it is. I look very crusty, but I'm going to the doctor now. To go get out my teeth. It's either I stop it or I remove my wisdom teeth today. So yeah, my hair is very dirty because I took my braid out last night. So don't come for me. You know what I told my mom? I lost my mom. If, if what? Toe is pain, like what na toenail, what nail is pain when she said her toenail. I'm like, why don't you paint it? She's like, <laughs> she was like why don't you paint it? <laughs> I just laughed. I just, I just laughed. <laughs> hey, what the hell? I look like it. I'm not going to say it. I'm say it. What to do? I'm not going to say it. 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 <laughs> yeah, I am so dwarf. My mother is so serious. She would clap a child if she had to. can see me but I basically have to now decide whether I want to remove my wisdom teeth or if I just want to stop who say man stop if I just want to fill it I guess so I don't know what I'm going to choose I'm mean, imagine I did my makeup in the car and it actually looks nice I didn't even color in my brows like it's just a you know but yeah I don't know what I want to do. So yeah, we in Craddock right now. I saw my ride or die. So yeah, I don't know. Here comes my mother. My mom looks so hot. She looks so hot. I don't know, guys. I honestly don't know. Come on, son. So nice. Okay, guys. So we in the tan tarts. <laughs> <laughs> about to get my mom's done 
actually mine. So yeah, I look so pretty before all the damages. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Doctor, I want to say. Guys, unfortunately, I don't know like, what I should choose. It doesn't look right. Hi guys, so I changed outfits. Uh, Pluto dry. So the side of my mouth is very numb because they put some needles in. I can cut it out. So, yeah, I just. I have temporary um, pull-offs in now, I do. It's not now, it's at all, but I'm looking pretty. She raised me very well, you know. Spill my nature a lot, I just need a day. Episode of Lena and Lenay. Vandaag is ons nog weer op een mission met de boer. <laughs> en net te zien die boer poeten met de blanke man. Dat is bij een bank voor ons. Ik speel me net in de lucht. Maar another episode of Lully and and Lenay. The ending van ons. Ons!
Yes, go. Yes, go. Hi, go. Yes, go. To my YouTube channel. Sixteen, yo, Fina, Chris Bracey, and myself on the G3, yo, CEO. Oh, yeah, caught up, harder than the mother boys. I ain't in front of me, but I can take a summer off. I can bring a woman off. I can take the summer off. One of my sort of taking pictures. It must be my other quality. Yes, 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 Pacific, that is. You understand me? Much of bad bitches. Yer. Popping that GTV. Yer. Living that lifestyle. Yer. Yeah. I do this for my status, boy. Yeah. My honey. Even when we a thousand miles apart, I still see your scars, your scars. Oh, I think. Yeah, that's good. I still feel your scars. Hi guys, I don't know what this is, but what I do know is that um, can you can you say that to me? Max had a ticket on our next set, but I just wanted to say like it's been a minute since I made videos and stuff. This is basically just ongoing collab. Not collab, but like ongoing vlogs of how my holiday went that I feel like I'm gonna post. I'm showing you all that I'm still alive and you know. Yeah, and also it's next interesting about that ik myself met elke dag van die. You know, there's nothing interesting or more interesting than Finding out something new about yourself and growing and loving yourself more.